Mace R and D. Today we're back in the shop and we're going to take in another cooking school. We're going to do some zucchini here, and we're going to show you how this is done. We're just going to be using some capers. We're going to be using some salt, some pepper, some olive oil, some garlic, and a little bit of our famous magic rub here. And then we're going to take these out on the grill. We're going to show you how this is done. All right, we're going to start by slicing these zucchinis on the bias here. I'm going to count about oh, three eighths of an inch slices. You can do these straight across if you like, but I find that uh, they tend to get lost down the grill when I put them on the uh, barbecue out there. So I'm going to take and put these in the pan right here. Put this in all sized up. If you're going to be preparing these for a lot of people, you can make the slices a lot thinner and make them stretch out a little bit more. All right, so there we have that. Now we're going to take some olive oil. Pour that over these. I'm going to take some garlic. I like a lot of garlic, so I'm going to use about three cloves. Take my old uh, spatula here and uh, smack these down. Separated from the outer skin. Garlic's an essential part of cooking, folks, so be sure that when you go to buy garlic at the market or wherever you buy it, you buy a bag of 15 or 20 heads. That way you can uh, have plenty on hand. All right, I want to take and chop this up a little bit. Having these uh, stainless steel mixing bowls is uh, quite handy actually for doing this because a lot of things you're going to do, you're going to take and marinate the uh, stuff for a little bit. All right, now we're going to take a little bit of pepper, put as much pepper as you like. Some people like a lot, some people don't like it at all. I tend to like it. And we're going to take some salt. Here, and we'll flip these around again. And we'll take some of our magic rub. This is the sweetened version of magic rub. It has a little bit of golden brown sugar in it, which makes it pretty darn good. All right, well that looks pretty good there. And we're gonna let this sit for about 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll be back. All right, I'm back. I almost forgot the capers, so. Need about a tablespoon of capers. Capers, as you probably already know, are a little bit salty. They do tend to pack them in a brine. And uh, that also helps to flavor the zucchini. All right, now we'll be back in about five or 10 minutes. All right, while we're waiting for our zucchini to marinate, um, I'm gonna show you what we actually have for tools and for uh, food here. Of course, the zucchini's in the uh, dish over here. We do use capers, 
extra virgin olive oil, some sweetened magic rub, salt, pepper, and of course our favorite here, garlic. And then we use a spatula for smashing our garlic, use a knife for chopping it up and chopping the zucchini up, and a spoon of course to get the capers out of the jar. Well, we've uh, let these marinate for about 15 minutes now, and um, they're ready to go on the grill. And we've been letting the grill heat up a little bit. So, let's open it up. Let's take our brush. Let's brush this down a little bit. And then we'll take and put these on. Of course, depending on what kind of grill you have, there's going to be hot spots and cool spots. Ours tends to be a little hotter here in the front. Well, this is where you uh, can lose the zucchini down through the grates, so that's why I kind of cut them on the bias so that uh, they're not as likely to fall down. Alright, now don't throw this stuff here away. Put this on top of your zucchini. last drop. Alright, there we go. Now we'll let this go for about, uh, about five minutes and then we'll come back and check it. Well, let's take a look here and see what we got. Looks like things are starting to char up here real nice. Yeah. We'll let this go a few more minutes. All right, well, let's take another look here. Start putting these over. Oh, nice. I like my zucchini looking like this, a little bit more on the charred side. Gives a lot more flavor, as far as I'm concerned. Oop, last one. I suppose you could do this on an electric grill, but uh, the flavor you get off a of gas grilling is far superior to what you get off of the, off the stove. Right. Move some of these around a little bit. Doing zucchini is actually pretty fast. It's a staple that you should keep in your fridge at all times. I made a whole dinner out of just a zucchini once in a while. That's pretty damn good. Right, give 
just a few more minutes. Let's move some of these around over here. When you start to see little bubbles in the zucchini, then you know that side's done. Alright, get back to bed, move back another couple minutes. Alright, let's take a look. See if these are done on the bottom side of it looking good. So I'd say that these are probably ready to go. Well, looks like that's it. Let's go ahead and give these a try and see how they taste. All right, let's dish these up. Oh, those are looking mighty fine. Let's take one here. Mm, that's really good. You're going to have to try this at home. Um, like I said, you could probably do this on a hot plate or something uh, and use a grill when you do it. Or you can use a barbecue grill outside. But it's very, very good. You're going to like it. John Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.